Okay. Well, I was going to split this up into several different videos, but now I'm just going to put it all in one and get you up to speed on where I'm at and why I'm sleeping in a boat right now. <laughs> I have purchased cold stem boot free. So yeah, I moved to a boat. It might just be temporary for like a week. But it was like this or living in a hostel. Hashtag homeless gay. I don't know. I kind of feel like a loser. I'm just not feeling like ready to have roommates again and grind the nine to five. And this guy was kind enough to offer a, a place for a week. And a job if I want it. The only catch is I have to work until November. So almost a year of my life in this room on this boat. And I think it would be a really cool way to make friends with a lot of Dutch people and hopefully learn Dutch. And like a proper Dutch sailboat from the 1920s. But yeah, I have a week to decide. It's gonna happen. And I just sold the plants. An emotional attachment to those plants. Ah yes, dinner. Jam on toast. There is no better thing. Mmm, delicious. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I have no idea. Okay, he just came in and he just noticed this area on the wall. That color difference. And he didn't notice the thing on the door at all. I don't need to take this with me. No, I'm just stupid and panicking for no reason. <laughs> Panic is logical thinking, you know, I should be able to fit everything, be able to carry it all together. So I'm like applying to all these workaway volunteer places. Maybe one of those will work. I'm sure what I'm gonna do. I'm just it's so last minute. Uh, I don't know why I waited. See, there's like a part of me though that actually wants to be homeless. I kind of feel like my life is a constant waking nightmare. And I could just never relax. I don't know why I'm like this. Though a lot of them are student houses. I don't want to be a student though. I'm so over that. Fuck. I just... I can't do that right now. I just can't handle it anymore. He said yes, I'm gonna go work on this boat. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I just did that. Okay, it's just proper snowing now. She's like, hey, are you the guy with the fancy wall? I'm like, yeah, that was such a mistake. And so I set out into the world, without a purpose, without a job, without a clear vision of the future and what lie ahead. I had dropped out of college for the sixth time and then traveled to 15 different countries in Europe before coming all the way back around 
here to the Netherlands. Okay, let's go. Not sure if I can bounce back this time. I get a 40% discount on the train ride if I get there for 4 o'clock. And we are going to make it perfectly on time. Because the final inspection only took 5 minutes and they said uh, everything was good. And the guy was getting ready to come in and just clean it all, but uh, walked by and the guy told him uh, it was all clean. Gave me a thumbs up and laughed. Apparently that's rare. how it's going to be. I feel like I'm living in a dream, that nothing is real and I'm just floating along. I thought I was going to be a scientist that would cure cancer and save the world. Instead I'm homeless in a foreign country. Of all the options, why the hell did I pick this one? Subscribe to follow along, I guess. I'll see where life takes me.